Yeah. Partners? Okay. Hello, my name is uh, Justin Salvage. I'm an application engineer with Zebra Technologies. Uh, what you're looking at here is our uh, our new machine vision portfolio, or uh, machine vision and fixed industrial scanners. Uh, what you see here is uh, we had our FS10, 20, FS40, and FS70s. Uh, this is our uh, smart cameras per se. They all have a built-in Linux operating system. These uh, cameras are basically used for inspections in a warehouse type environment. Typically, uh, most common use case would be on a conveyor belt. We'd have a camera like such uh, mounted down here to see items as they pass by. Uh, our most basic tool is a barcode scanning tool. Uh, this is our bread and butter of our company that we've uh, had for over 50 years. But in addition to that, we have uh, a variety of machine vision tools. Uh, this is our new foray that we're diving into. So uh, for example, we have uh, locate object tools to uh, locate and detect a pattern or a logo. We have uh, edge detect tools and measurement tools if you want to say uh, measure a distance between two points of something that we find in our image. Uh, we also have a variety of filters and uh, blob count tools and the list goes on and on as far as machine vision goes. Uh, our cameras also come with a variety of uh, lighting options. Uh, some of them have internal uh, lighting, uh, such as our FS40 device. You could get this in uh, red, white, uh, green, blue, infrared, or a multi-illumination board. So our options are very flexible in that sense. Uh, we could also attach to an external light. So we have a uh, short bar lights, uh, longer uh, 300 millimeter bar lights, uh, ring lights, um, pretty much any industry standard we could connect with our M5 connection here. Uh, we support a variety of uh, protocols to interface with existing systems such as uh, TCP IP, serial, USB, and uh, we could kind of interface with a variety of PLCs. Uh, including Modbus, Profinet, and Ethernet IP uh, protocols. Um, and that's kind of it in a nutshell as far as what our equipment could do. Um, so yeah, uh, and our, our, our main baby that we'd like to talk about is our deep learning OCR tool, which could uh, decode any kind of text that you see in a picture uh, with little to no programming or training up front. Uh, example, uh, right here, we could read this text here, but also my neat handwriting, our OCR tool is able to read that. And uh, I could demonstrate that uh, in a few seconds here. So you could see this, uh, here's our deep learning OCR box. Um, just gonna show, this is gonna read this uh, handwritten font that I made uh, with my own handwriting. And right out of the box, you get Z-E-B-R-A-R-U-L-E-S. So, uh, exclamation point. So, that's a, a Justin Salvage font, that's my name. Um, so that just shows the, the power of the deep learning uh, algorithm that's going on under the hood. It can read a variety of uh, fonts, even ones that are made up by myself. And uh, that's it in a nutshell, so thank you for visiting.